Welcome, everybody. This is uh, Swan with Black Box Stocks. We have a very special guest with us today. That's Lancelot uh, from Lancelot Pro and Lancelot Investments. Thank you so much for joining us today on this. Oh, it's a great pleasure, uh, yeah. really. Uh, it's, thank, you. thank you for the invitation. Uh, Lancelot's been a member of Black Box for a long time, so he agreed to give us a little of his input on gamma exposure, and that's one thing we're going to talk about today. So, Lancelot, let me ask you this. What's the what's the true definition of gamma exposure and then in layman terms what does it actually mean all right well gamma is a part of the greek family on the option so if you want to you have to understand a bit of how option, uh, options work right um the strict definition of gamma is gamma represent the rate of change between an option delta and the underlying assets price all right Okay. Um, what does it mean? Well, um, first you have to understand gamma is kind of a measure of volatility, and it's how much market makers need needs to move uh, delta to hedge their position, because as many of you know, uh, market makers who provide liquidity and allow us to trade because they always take the other side of the trade, right? Uh, need um, to keep their delta neutral. Okay. Uh, all right. That makes um, sense. The, uh, uh, do you want to start with an example or do you want to? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's pull up. I've got spy here. So right. uh, red day in the market today, right? So, if you guys are watching this video weeks and months from now, you'll see it's a pretty red day. Um, let me look at studies here, and it's the seventh study on our list right there, gamma exposure. And you'll see what happens is it automatically populates these bars in. And then a lot of people don't know this, but you can grab the uh, strikes here and, and raise and lower the chart to kind of get more of a view. And you can see these how some of these bars are different uh, lengths. If I go far enough, they'll actually you'll start seeing some green up here at the top. So what's this all referring to here? All right, well, it's a great question. Let's see. Um, we are currently, as you look at it, in a, a negative gamma environment. And that's the first thing you need to pay attention to when you look at, um, when you pull out the study. Are we, on a, are we on a negative gamma environment or a positive gamma environment? Is it red or green, right? Sure, sure. Um, in a negative uh, gamma environment, traders, speculative traders, they sell calls and buy puts, all right? Mm -hmm. The um, path of least resistance in a negative uh, or red gamma in this instance um, environment, the path of least resistance is down, all right? Sure. Um, on the other hand, uh, well, let me add one thing too. Um, you need to pay attention to the largest bar, okay? As we see right now, uh, 370 and 365 are the largest bar that you see, okay? Mm -hmm. So technically, um, they are not really level of support and resistance, although a lot of people think they are. What I like to... Um, they are zone of interest and most likely um, uh, the, they are levels where price will gravitate towards. The okay. move towards a large um, gamma levels are more interesting than the actual gamma level in itself. Um, let's see. In so here's one thing I just noticed, and this is what I like about black box their gamma exposure is that these levels just changed um that number and that number you can see the length of the bar just changed so i don't know of any other gamma exposure study out there that's in real time but these do change on us which is definitely a benefit seeing this all in real time yeah there it's it's quite amazing I, I don't know if any other platform can do that but i i just love that um i, I just want to clarify Let's talk about a positive um, or a positive gamma environment, which you basically would see the, the opposite, where it would be uh, flipped. Yeah, I guess you have the XY. All right. So in this instance, you see large green 
bars, all right? Mm -hmm. um, what does it tell you? It tells you that market makers will buy dips and sell rips in a positive gamma environment. Uh, UVXY is a little tricky uh, ticker, but, <laughs> right, <laughs> but right, general, right. if you pull out a stock, it has a healthy flow. Um, you know, that's that helps obviously. You know, in a nice setup because you you can just you know, um, market makers will will basically uh, buy dips and sell rips in a green environment. Again, again towards the level, right? Towards the level, like we see here, eleven fifty was bought, and we're going towards twelve. Uh, will it reach 12? I'm not sure. Okay, but mm -hmm. you, I guess you get the, the direction, and you guess you have to understand the, the psychology behind that. Um, that basically a positive gamma environment. Um, basically, the, the the market makers are long gamma. Right? Um, they want to keep buying the dips. Um, yesterday was a good example. I wish I had, had a screenshot. Um, Tesla had a, you know, it was a, it's a little tricky because a lot of um, the, the current environment we have a lot of uh, a mixed <laughs> mixed gamma, so right. sometimes you see you know there's there's at some point the level switched from red to green, right? Uh, and yesterday we were in green most of the day, and then towards the end we were in the red uh, for Tesla. Um, but we the the, the the dips keep being bought. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah so let's go back to spy so you said a key point then is to look at not just the color that's obviously point one right are we in a negative one color, color or a positive then it's like they identify the big levels okay so we have a level our largest right now currently would be between that 365 and that 370 and if i make this a little bit smaller there's probably going to be one at 360 yeah um yeah so those are our our largest three, yeah, at the moment. Very good. Yeah. So how so how do you how would you recommend a trader to use this? Is it more of a uh, sentiment for the day? Definitely, that's the first thing. First thing you have to keep that in mind is the sentiment for the day. All right, we're in a red uh, gamma environment. Uh, the path of least resistance is down. All right, that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. um, then. Um, then you identify the big levels that price would gravitate toward, right? The 365 is so close, right? Obviously, it has to make sense as well on the, on the chart. You can't just blindly, um, you know, just follow the gamma levels, like you know. Right. Another thing that would add on on the chart, and I do, and I, we were, I was talking to you about that, is in the next study that I really like is the number six here, yeah, the net option delta. Uh, so now we have the delta <laughs> and the gamma, right? So yeah, uh, I've heard a lot of traders say they trade gamma, but they they also the gex and the dex, you know, gamma exposure and the delta exposure. Net oh, option yeah. delta is basically telling us that same thing. Exactly. That's why I pull up both. These are my go-to. I don't, you know, I sometimes I pull out the net option, uh, the number I think it's the other study, right? The number five, right? Oh, dollar flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dollar flow. Sometimes I put it. It depends. It depends what I'm trading at. Um, but I, I like to know. Okay, today is kind of an interesting day, right? It's a down day. Uh, we are in a down week. Uh, the gamma is red, right? Large gamma levels. Uh, there's no green levels in sight, right? Like if you can, let me see. <laughs> do you have any oh, they're, yeah they're, they're way up there near 400 yeah. I think. so you know that's for now the market makers you know they're like no nah, no nah, it's not <laughs> what is it like wow wow they're they're we are on the, the path of these resistance is down okay but we look at the delta the net option delta is actually positive 1.7 million and that's the white and line by right? call buying yep but um i think you know you would agree with me what I really like to see is this um, red orangey line mm -hmm. uh, go up, which is the level of option, uh, the put selling. All right? right. So we want you want we want that line to go up. Um, you know, the best combo is obviously all the lines going up. Right. Yeah. Because uh, right orange, orange going up would mean the orange line going up on that option delta would mean puts are being sold, and if it's going down or flat, they're either 
staying open or opening buying puts, which is kind of where we are right now. And it's a negative 255. Right, exactly. Yeah. So for now, I think until, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. <laughs> sure, sure. The, market, in, the, the market's pretty in, heavy right now. It's all pretty heavy up here. Correct. Yeah, super heavy. And I think if you plug in one more tip, you plug in the uh, the ORB 15, um, and I can have a little bit of a you know towards the end of a move on a on a day three of a move, you would plug in ORB 30. That's that's my tip. Um, that's what I do um, mm -hmm. because ORB 15 is fantastic. I use it all the time, but it's it's it works best on a on a on a move uh, on day one, day two of a move. Uh, we're definitely not on day one, day two on the move on the SPY. We're on a day three of a big old. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I would, for today, I would use ORB30. Um, yeah. That's, that's just that's a mean. great explanation. I really appreciate you bringing in those other studies, the not the net options delta, uh, along with we trade. I mean, I trade ORB like crazy. Um, and we absolutely love it. I know you have you, you use it daily as well. So, oh, for sure. but fixing that into the and there you can just see these these uh, gamma lines just all shifted again because it's taking in real time. And you can see as they shifted, this is what's interesting. 365 then became the bigger bar compared to 370. And look at the look at the down candle we're getting we're towards that level. We're going there. Okay. Uh, on my levels, I have an algo level, and that's not related to black box. At um, 3661 on the specs, this is a big low. Um, yeah. And then, uh, so we're, you know, it's nice to align that. I, I love to cr cross reference between my own work, my own uh, TA, if you want. Sure, and sure. My levels. And I think that's what, that's the golden ratio right there, the golden uh, ticket. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think traders like uh, young traders who are not very experienced who come on on black box benefit would benefit tremendously to to really uh, study how uh, it works on the spy and to use these you know the gamma levels first get the sentiment of the day um, and then the ORB you know let's say 15 to keep it simple and then look I mean you 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 could have uh, made quite a bit of money on the downside already. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Lance. I think that's a great explanation for everybody. I really appreciate you going through that. Um, I think it definitely does help. Uh, just so everybody knows, again, Lancelot, you can find him on Twitter. Um, and yeah, Lancelot Pro, in what's your what's your Twitter handle? Well, uh, it's Commandante. It's an old <laughs> Commandante SD. Um, you, you can write it down if you. Yeah, want. I'll put it in the uh, description of the video. I'll have that there. Um, also, LancelotProInvest.com um, is his website. So, like I said, he's been a member with us for a long time, and we appreciate him. He's a, one of the one of the best chartists I know. So, uh, we thank you for your time, Lancelot, very much, and uh, we want you to make sure you uh, enjoy the rest of your day, my friend. Thank you so much, my friend. Have, have a great weekend, and um, you know, stay green, my friend. <laughs> thank you. Same to you. All right.